seems like we hardly ever vlog storm anymore. It seems like we're like hardly here now, uh, but we're actually here like two times a day, two times a day. It's devotion, you guys. It's what love does to you. Stormy boy. I don't think that's thick enough for this weather. Come on. I'm reading this book called The Silent Patient by Alex M Michaelides. Michaelides? Michaelides. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's really good. I hate that because I just, I'm on chapter 13. I think I figured out the whole entire book. But I can't stop reading it. You ain't got enough of this fever, I know, I know. Nothing would remain and you don't wanna go, so go. Cause you're thinking your place, no time to waste. I wanna love you, but life doesn't wait. So this is happening. We finally got some good lessons on it now. <laughs> You can stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be your friend um, Actually, these are a tiny bit small I think we got those from Willow's old owner So they're mini Itchy, itchy This horse is always itchy It makes me wonder about his food so about the saddle, Storm's upset because everybody's getting food but him. Okay, so. Guys, I'm can jump Storm, I figured out a way. Walk him over his jump. No, look at him. <laughs> I think he's uh, so basically, uh, the, the news about the saddle, actually he looks good. His bling on his helmet, on his head from Beads brow of band? Steeds, his brow band from Beads of Steeds, Steeds Beads for Steeds, um, matches his baby pad that Gabby put on. That's a... Uh, Ogilvy, what's it called? Ogilvy. Ogil Oglivy. Oh, oh. Um, anyways. Baby pad. So, oh yeah, and it matches her stirrup covers that she made. Basically, I said to Gabby, here, this is how you do it. And she said, stop it! Get away! Let me do it myself! Which is exactly her personality since she was a newborn baby. And she did do it. All, all on her own. But anyway, basically, the story about the saddle is that... The saddle fitter is coming soon. Um, Gabby's going to do about 10 hours in this saddle to break it Not in. Straight. <laughs> no, poor Storm. I die. About 10 hours in the saddle um, to break it in. She's oiled it. She's been oiling it. Yeah, she oiled it today. And he's going to adjust it. And yeah, he's like ready to run. Don't let him roll with that saddle on. We're advised to ride with polo wraps. So Gabby's been getting a crash course on polo wraps. Uh, all this wrapping we've had to do, she's been wanting to put polo wraps on him and ride in them. So that'll change the way her riding looks from now on. I like those way better than boots, to be honest. And although they're harder to put on. Um, so yeah, that's the tea about the saddle. That's, that's all the information about the saddle. Uh, he'll be here in April to um, assess things and no matter what happens, like if it needs to be adjusted or whatever, then um, it he will deal with all that. And our girth did not fit. We ordered the wrong size. She asked me what size and I gave her the wrong size. So um, we ordered the wrong size. So he's going to exchange those, that for us as well. So all in all, the company is like working really hard with us to make sure that the saddle is absolutely perfect for Storm and for Gabby. So this is what happens when you don't ride your horse for a couple of weeks. Is it out of your system now? I want to say that to you the next time you're sassy. What? What? Yeah. What, you're proud of him rearing? What? He reared. I know, I stopped. I was like this. <laughs> I know, I know, I was holding my breath. Get, get all your wings, get, get all, all your wings out. 
out. It looked like it was a spook. It was a spook. And then I told, and then he was like, oh my god. And I'm like, no. And he's like, what did what you say? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Storm's like crazy spooky right now. I don't understand what's happening. He's never spooky like this. So it's either because he is separated from his herd and it's stressful for him because he's in his own paddock, which is what I think it is. Like I watched Stella Willow today when Stella left. She was exactly the same. Suddenly every single thing was so scary. Mm -hmm. So tell him you're there, Gabby. Yeah, that's a smart choice. <laughs> Mom does not want her daughter to get killed. <laughs> Gabby said, maybe I should wait till the other girl comes in. And I'm like, yeah, that's a smart choice. And she's like, yeah, you just say that because you don't want me to get killed. <laughs> we chickened I out. Real right outside. Yeah, his saddle Smart. is way too bad, far back. <laughs> well, at least he got a walk and he got his saddle on for a few like minutes. A yeah, the there's arena. something going on in this arena today. Basically, the arena was super spooky today, and another horse came in and literally terrified us all. It was bucking and kicking, and Storm took one look at him and was like, let's go. Storm's going in back into his other field in the morning. It makes me a little nervous. Because I don't want him to get kicked again. We were all looking at Storm, and all of a sudden, we heard that sound. That sound that brings terror to your eyes, to your ears. It was the sound of thundering hooves, and boy, that horse was bucking and kicking. And we all looked at each other, and Storm went up and down, and we were like, yeah, okay, see you later. We'll see you tomorrow. Ever since Stella galloped, every time I hear, like, thundering hooves, I look back, and I, like, pull into the center, and I'm like, Stella, gallop. After she galloped, when? On me and Gabby. On you and Gabby? And Kaylee. And Laura. She did not go as fast with you. No, it wasn't quite thundering with me, was it? Still. Well, that was eventful. You didn't get to ride, but... He wanted his food, that's all. Yeah, he did. He wanted his food. Oh, well, I... And he's not on a round bale in the individual paddock, so that's probably like a... That's probably an issue for him, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See you in the morning, buddy. Yeah, he acts crazy if he hasn't had grain, and he acts crazy if he has had grain. He acts crazier if he, if he, he must have been hungry today, because he was actually standing at that gate watching and waiting. Oh. It's okay, Gabby. You can ride in the morning. It's good. I feel like it's good that she made the choice to not get on him because he was spooking like crazy, and that other horse was setting him off. And it just makes more sense to be able to know when it's not a good situation eventually she'll learn to handle all those things like the other girl riding she can handle her horse doing that but um for right now she made the right choice